What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm the real Jossie. I'm Peter Parkour, and we are the, the Distorted, Distorted Theorist. Theorist. It is. No one said so. I love oh, it. It is good. It's the end of an era, Peter. Um, we are about to watch for the first time Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. It is like the last well, the, the DCEU. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's the last film of DCEU. Are they going to go out with a bang? What's your thoughts? Um, so this is the thing. Uh, I think they're going to try to go out with a bang mm -hmm. because the marketing for this movie has been... Yeah. Uh, there's been nothing. There was more marketing, I think, for Blue Beetle and the marketing which for Blue Beetle... Which they No, they really didn't. Well, I felt like they did. It was, I mean, big was... on, it was big on TikTok. I didn't see it anywhere else. Yeah, I guess it was just an emphasis on, like, where does this movie fit and yeah. obviously introducing a new character and a new actor. But, but this is Aquaman, someone we're used this to. This is one of right? the big... Four, five, four, yeah. five. One of the big five from the Snyderverse. This is the last one that we saw the la the end of the Flash and Batfleck mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the spoiler yep. of and I guess Wonder Woman in the Flash yeah. and we and end credit scene again. Spoiler, mm. spoiler warning. Yeah, our boy Jason Momoa was in that. So I yeah. mean, they they had all intents to carry on with his character, but I mean. It's Jason Momoa. Money is obviously funneled into this film, mm -hmm. and now we're left in a little bit of limbo because where do we go from here? And unfortunately, as you just said off camera, Jason Momoa is a is a great Aquaman, and it's going to be sad to see him leave. Yeah, and uh, it's I, I of course leading up to this, they have released a teaser for this trailer, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is about thirty seconds. Um, which we did I won't catch. lie, I did watch yeah. it on TikTok. Mm -hmm. um, the amount of CGI that's in the music. Now, now you remember, the first movie was very CGI heavy yeah. as well, yeah. but this one was almost to the point of like, this hurts my <laughs> head. I think the only things that aren't CGI are from the neck up for everybody. But you know what? There's only one way to see how much CGI yes. truly is in it. So let's get into the trailer reaction and discussion of Aquaman and The Last Kingdom right now. Let's get it. See, CGI. Ago, I was basically unemployed. A wanderer with no home. The old, old Arthur. But now, I'm a husband and a father. Aww. Oh. And I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> I'm Can he possible. control the pee? I don't My know. Job was well, he's drinking a Guinness. Good for you. This Captain Rex. Suit so, so looks dumb. He's doing his thing. Oh yeah. And uh that's he got a job. I'm the <laughs> king of Atlantis. Just got a job. That suit looks Half amazing. A million people uh, from every known species in the sea call this place home. Can you speak whale? But that doesn't mean they all like me. I'm gonna kill Aquaman. Oh there's, there's a boy like yeah, yeah. Back. I'm gonna murder his family. And Nicole his kingdom. To ash. Yeah. James Wan. This guy. This guy knows. James Aquaman. Wan. For Director of Saul. One of my favorite. Man. Oh, what's in his I'm getting Black Panther vibes there. I know someone I might be able to help us. Is that Groot. <laughs> for a second, I almost said, "Was that Groot?" <laughs> Good job, brother. High five. Do not call me, brother. Is that Skarsgård? Oh, that's, that's Patrick Wilson. I that's Orm. Let this happen. Yeah. Well, I hate this job. True king builds bridges, right? I mean, true king builds bridges. <laughs> oh no, it's I, from I do the same thing. Find Manta. He's different now. What a hammerhead for. They beat him once. I don't black understand how he. Trident. The black trident. In king Atlan's time, there were seven kingdoms. And the trident was a curse upon them all. Looks like oh, okay. Oh, that looks dope. He means to end the bloodline. He means. He's a horrifying creature. But we can't leave our children in a world without hope. You're not as bad at this as you think. As very Wakanda forever. The Seven Kingdoms will follow. Oh. Was that Amber Heard? That was the one shot of Amber Heard. Okay. December 20th, uh, definitely. Text Aquaman. Read where it all began. It's definitely dropping in December, so it's going to be... We're going to have a nice little Christmas movie on our hands. I think so. Something all right. Out of the house. 
I want to talk about the first thing that caught my attention that I think looked really dope was those, I guess, uh, necrotic skeleton well, thing. Well, that, that immediately... The black trident. That immediately went to Darkest Night or Blackest Night yeah. for Green Lantern with yeah. the black trident. That looks something right out of that. With the green aura yeah, and everything yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, So... Uh, I don't know if you caught it. Where did they say that Trident came from? Because obviously we have... Um, Someone from the Seven Kingdoms. It was one of the... One of the magical bad, weapons or whatever. One of the bad kingdoms, I think. Now, I do believe Black Manta was like on, not on his deathbed, but he was in an end credit scene of the first one, I think, on like a hurt. hospital bed or something. Yeah, and yeah. someone had rescued him because we thought he'd... You know, the old trope. Um, but obviously he's back now, but where did he come in possession of that is one big question we're going to have coming up. That's probably this. what he went looking after. But, but with him sitting... On the, the throne like that, I was getting Black Panther. I know, I said, I was in the reaction, I don't know if you heard it, I said like Wakanda, yeah, Wakanda forever, it was like a big mix, but obviously we hate to compare, you know, everyone hates us to compare DC to Marvel, but I mean, obviously the correlations are there. Um, they the, but, we got a buddy cop thing going. Yeah, I, I, my apologies, I said, I said, was that Skarsgård thing? I didn't even realize it with the long beard, it looked like, almost like his look from, anyway. But this is what happens when you get in reactions. You call it like you see it as soon as we do. So come for me in the comments instead of Peter this time. Um, no, they're coming for me. But it went, yeah, super dark. I mean, one of the major things that he said to was like, I oh, will come for your whole family and yeah. I will kill them. So are we going to see the death of any major characters? Anything you think? Uh, I can't Nicole say. Kidman? I mean, we might. We very, we very well might see mm. the death of someone. But it could also be the whole, like, we're going to pull the rug under and at the end, like, oh, no, they were fine the whole time. They mm. were just prisoners. Huh? I don't know. Any chance we see a death of Jason? Or of Arthur? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, again, if, the, if they're not carrying him over into James Gunn's mm. DCU, mm. Uh, there's potential. Or he could just kind of go off into the sunset, That's which true. I would like to see. Like, it just kind of like this story ends and goes on. Well, you know what they're talking about now? They have a family, et cetera, et cetera. So obviously he's going to do, he, his character is going to do whatever it needs to do to defend his family. Well, so at the end, he either lives and dies on the sword and saves them in the process, or does he take his family, go to Atlantis and and rule for well, kingdom come, so to speak? This is the thing now, too, because I, I mentioned it, and I think you did as well. We saw one scene with... Amber Heard in mm, it, and now looked this, to be. It was a and this flash, was a but... big controversy over the last mm -hmm. year, year and a half mm -hmm. after the Johnny Depp trial of people trying to get her removed from the movie. So yeah. uh, Warner Brothers was quite was was pretty quiet on that. Yeah, and not to not to delve or 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 to stay too long on this topic, mm -hmm. but I mean, she did not feature in this trailer. She featured yeah. very heavily in the last movie. And we just saw her punching at something. So, so is she going to be in the similar situation that Nicole you know, Kidman? The, and the good thing they do have about this is if this is the final Aquaman, or at least the final one in this thing, I don't think they have to worry too long about retconning anything. That may be bad publicity on her mm. front either. So, you know, and if this is the last one, it is going to be sad to see Jason Moa take off. Um, I thought he was a great Aquaman. I love his presence. I know. On, but He's fun. And this does look like a fun movie. Again, it's going to be very CGI heavy. Mm. And... I'll accept uh, it for this kind of movie. I think it's Flash was a bit too, too much, but and, this one you almost need to because you're underwater for half of it type thing. And I, like, I, just to make the parallel, mm -hmm. Marvel movies are CGI heavy too, and oh, sometimes they can get pretty hard on it. So if they make it look good, what yeah. odds? It was very colorful, and like I said, the, the cinematics yes. there is going to... It needs you're sit, to be, needs when, to be colorful. Yeah, and when you're sitting in IMAX in this, just example in IMAX, which I know we will be day one, um, it's going to, you're going to be sad. There's kind of going to be like Avatar vibes, I think. You're going to get that very colorful, well, Atlantic, you know what I mean, water filled, and you're just going to be sat there immersed in not just what the characters are doing, but mm -hmm. the whole thing around them and the cinematography going on behind them as well. So. That's that big word for you. You're, le you're <laughs> learning cinematography. cinematography. I actually looked in the dictionary before we started this, but... Final thoughts. What are you thinking? Uh, it looks like it's going to be a fun movie. It's, uh, again, it's like the buddy cop. Uh, he's the good brother. The bad brother is going to come back, and they have to band together to go after Manta. <laughs> the old troll um, And listen, if it, if it works, don't. If, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, it's colorful, mm. heavy on the CGI, mm. um, but that tra that was a good trailer. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't have any of those moments that I was like, oh, <laughs> I didn't have anything like that. Um, but it did. It did definitely pull yeah. me in because the marketing for this has been very lax. Now that we see this, we can actually kind of and get, start the process for it. I'm hoping to accept this as Jason Momoa's swan song. And you know what? Yeah. If they, if they, it's unfortunate, if they, but... if they treat this well, which I'm sure they will, it'll be a great uh, send off for our boy. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining us today for the trailer reaction for mm -hmm. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. As always, if you enjoy the content, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We 
always appreciate it. And with that, I am The Real Jossie. I am Peter Parkour, and like we always like to say around here, keep, keep it real. real.